Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing about the call for tender which is a purchase agreement type inside the purchase module of Odoo 60. So for that, let's open the purchase module here. Now compared to the Odoo version 15, there are a lot of changes inside 16. Okay, so in 15, you were able to create call for tender and blanket order separately inside a menu called the agreement types. But here, we don't have such a menu uh, for creating them separately. Instead, under the orders, we have blanket order. That is here, you can create a blanket order separately, but you don't have such a menu for call for tender. Now, you, you guys might be wondering where this call for tender is. Right. So before going on to that, first thing which you have to do is make sure inside the configuration settings, you have enabled the purchase agreements. OK, so here is the purchase agreement. It's already enabled only after enabling the uh, purchase agreement. You will be able to uh, create a call for tender and also blanket order. So make sure you save it. Now let's go to RFQ and create a new RFQ. So today we'll be focusing on call for tender. Okay, so this is an RFQ creation form and here I'm adding a customer. So I'll add um, Amanda. Okay, then here I'm going to add a product. So I'll be adding a caustic block screen. Here I can specify the quantity I want and also provide a unit price. So here I'm setting the unit price as 50. So basically what is call for tender? Call for tender, that is, uh, I'll say it with an example. Suppose if I want a product, uh, let it be a caustic block screen itself. Okay, so I want five quantity of this acoustic block screen. So I'm sending a RFQ to two of, like you can do it with two or more customers. I'm sending it to three customers. Okay, A, B and C, let A, A B and C be three customers. Okay, I'm sending the same product, same quantity, but the unit price might be different. Okay, so after sending the RFQ, you can compare the three RFQs. Okay, you can compare the amount each vendor buys and from there you can choose the better option. So obviously we'll be choosing the one with less amount, right? Then once you confirm that particular RFQ to a purchase order, the other two become cancelled. So I'll show you the example, then it will be a little bit more clear. Okay, so here I've given the quantity and the unit price. Now here you can see a new tab called the alternatives. Just click on that and here you can see create alternative. Okay, I'm going to create an alternative RFQ for this same product. So click on create alternative. Here comes a wizard. Here you can choose the second vendor to whom you are going to send the same RFQ. That is a uh, request for quotation for the same product. So here I'm choosing Anita and here you can see copy products. So I'm going to copy the products which are there in the order lines of the first RFQ. So click on create alternative. Okay, so here is the um, second RFQ. Here you can see from four, that is the purchase order 48. We have created a new one, which is 49. Here you can see the product has come. Quantity is five. Now here you can change the unit price. So in the first one, I've gave I've given the unit price as 50. Here I'm giving it as 25. Okay, now let's go to the alternative tab of this one. I'm going to create one more. Okay, so here I'm going to choose Abigail, copy products and create alternative. Okay, here also we have the same quantity. I'm changing the unit price to 10. Okay, so here is the total. Now, go into the alternative tabs. Here you can see a field or a link like thing called compare product lines. So I'm going to click on that. And let's compare the three. Now, just by clicking on compare here, you can see a single one has the amount in green color. Okay, so here, for the Abigail Peterson's RFQ, here you can see the amount is 50. For Anita Oliver, it's 125 and Amanda, it's 250. Now comparing these three amounts, you can see 50 is the least amount, right? So that one is chosen as the best one. Okay, so just by comparing, you can get which one is the uh, lesser one, lesser amount, 
So here it's already in green. So we can easily click on choose here. Now you can choose any other as well. Okay. So that's chosen. Now let's go back to um, 48 or 51. We'll go. Okay. So this is the one which we chosen. Now if you take a look at the alternative tab here, you can see the 51. Only the total is shown there for Abigail Peterson's RFQ. And the other two, the total is shown as zero because we didn't choose that okay so if you just take a look at 0049 also there also you have the same situation that 51 total is being displayed and the others are like zero so i'm going to do one thing i'm going to confirm the uh, abigail peterson's that particular vendors um, you know rfq so this is the uh, best offer so i'm going to confirm order and there comes an alternative warning so there are two alternative requests for quotations uh, which are still open and if you want to cancel them you can just click on cancel alternatives so what happened this one became confirmed and the other two became cancelled so i'll just show you if you go back to rfqs okay i'll go to orders here You can see the cancelled ones here, 48 and 49. Okay, now let's open one. This is the Abigail Peterson's. So you can see the alternatives here, which are 48, 49 and 51. Okay, so this has become a purchase order and 48 and 49, if you just take a look, it has become cancelled. So simply by clicking on that, we can complete the procedure that is receive products and all validate it apply okay so that's done so this is how you create or you do the call for tender method inside the purchase module of odoo 16. now if you just uh, like we have one more method but uh, like i'll simply show it here under the orders you have blanket order okay so if you just click on create you can create a bla uh, like an agreement with I mean, you can create one with the agreement type blanket order. So by default, blanket order will be here. You have nothing to choose here. Now, if you just go to the internal link of the product here, you can see the agreement type creation window, which was which like which we were able to see inside the version 15. So in order 15, where we created agreement type, this window came. We changed the name here. We changed the selections and all here. Okay, so by changing the selection, you can do the um, call for tender here also. I'll simply show you. Okay, so it's better to do the other case like this method also. You can do that. So here we have call for tender. Okay, so call for tender. We are only selecting one RFQ. Click on select one RFQ. Use quantities of agreement. I'm just saving it. Now here the agreement type is call for tender. Okay. So after that, I'm adding the product here. Let's add the product a whiteboard pen and the quantity I'm adding it as 10. Okay, and the unit price is 5. Okay, now I'm going to confirm it. Now here, what you can do is create a new quotation. So in this quotation, that product is taken Add the vendor, Abigail. Now the unit price is 5, okay, so you can simply uh, send it by mail, okay, now it's in RFQ sent state, okay, click on send here, okay, RFQ is sent. Now let's go back to the order, create one more new quotation, click on Abigail Peterson, change the unit price to 10 cent okay clicking on send by mail send it so it's in rfq send state going back click creating one more quotation changing it to two here you can choose the vendor anita okay and from here i'm just saving it going back 
Now here on in the smart tab, you can see three RFQs or orders. So open that. You can see the three offers and simply by opening it, you can see which one is better. So this one is uh, for unit price two. The total is 23. Then this one, the total is 115 and the other one total is 57. So the better option is 23, right? So here you can see the total. I'm going to open it and confirm the order. Let's see what happens. It's confirmed. If you go back, you can see the other twos are cancelled. So this way also you can do it, but it's always better to do in the first method because this is actually the blanket order right now inside the blanket order you have the agreement type creation form and there you can change the settings and do that okay so blanket order can be created directly under the menu blanket order and call for tender can be done inside the rfq creation here you have the alternative tab inside this you can create alternatives and you can choose the best one so that's the updation which has come inside the purchase agreement and agreement type and all so that's all about the call for tender. I hope it's clear. Thank you so much for watching.